So hey guys, good evening. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I have not filmed a video until today. This is going to be a little bit late, so I apologize, but I wanted to drop off a message to you today. I want to encourage you. I want to remind myself that we all need to be encouraged right now. I know that is a that seems like a far stretch for some people right now. There is so much going on and uh, I recognize that. We are all going through um, so much spiritual warfare. Um, before I begin talking about that, let me tell you something. And it's it, you need to be saying it. You, you gotta say it out loud. Jesus loves you. You may not believe that, you may not believe in him, you may live a life that I'm not, I don't know, maybe you're not happy in and you're trying to find your destination. And I'm telling you, y'all, we are in the biggest, the beginning of the biggest spiritual warfare um, ever known to man. And I have been saying this for two years it's, it's always been here. You know that as well as me, but it is certainly amped up, isn't it? Yeah. The thing that I want to say in this video is, number one, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your uh, just thousands upon thousands of unbelievably supportive comments. I am doing better. I took a big break today. My body is really um, reeling from the last week. And I will tell you, I had a hard time last night into early today, so I went to bed after we got everything. I got everything done, cleaned up, and I, I rested this afternoon. I played with the kitten. I did a little bit of social media, um, and the world is on fire. People are so misdirected. People want to fight. People want to fight. That's do you? I mean, I don't know about you. So when I say do you know, I mean I I don't know what you think. I, I I'm just expressing myself, folks. It doesn't matter what the Fed does. It doesn't matter what the economy does. Um, I mean, it does matter. But my point is, is we're being distracted by a lot of things um, to get you off of your path. And I really felt like in the last 24 hours, and some of you are, see, this is the thing. Some of you are going to say, it's probably just that cortisone shot. <laughs> Could be. Um, but there has been some things that have really popped up in the last 24 hours, literally right before I started filming this, that I, I totally recognize that I'm like, this is, this, this is exactly what my elders keep telling me. This is exactly what my elders are warning me about. Everything is amping up. Everything will continue to get worse. That sounds negative. But I tell you that so that you can mentally, physically, and spiritually prepare. I am talking to myself as much as I am talking to you. We should be worrying about our families. We should be worrying about our finances. We should be worrying about our pantries. We should be worrying about our skill sets. We should definitely be worrying about guiding people as best we can. And we should be worrying about being debt free. We should be worrying about becoming um, very equipped in terms of self-protection. The world is a very dangerous place right now. And the world is a very confused place right now. And our young people are very confused right now. This is all by design. It's all by design. Generations of people that feel like they have no family, feel like they've been left out by their loved ones and especially abandoned by Jesus. Well, I can tell you, you haven't been abandoned by Jesus, but this is the lie that the devil continues to tell all of us. And the more that I speak about that, the more push I get. So I recognize that I'm doing the right thing. Do not back down from speaking the truth, folks. That does not make you a bad person. It's speaking the truth. There's a lot of misconceptions right now. There's a lot of things take, purposely taking people like me and you out of context. It is all to cause division. Everything that you're seeing happen right now, the slaps in the face, the slaps 
to this country, the slaps to our veterans, the slaps to those that have given lives for this country. And this is for people that are male, female, because you're either male or you're female, um, and of all colors. Um, this is what is going on with you and with me because they do not want us united. Bottom line. And so I want to stress to you as best I can to do your best to stay aware of things that are happening. Do not stick your head in the sand, but recognize when the pressure builds you to a certain point that you need to go, okay, nope, 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 going to pull it on back. What are the things that you need to be doing right now? I'm seeing a lot of, I haven't watched hardly any videos today. Um, I know the Fed did a pause. Um, guys, we're being lied to so bad. I mean, you know, I talk about the finances of things. I'm very concerned about inflation. I'm concerned about the debts that people are being forced to take on. Do you know how many credit card solicitations we've gotten over the last week? James and I have talked about it three or four times. Like we went, you know, we've probably gone the last three years and maybe we got like one. We've got people trying to buy our property. We are getting home, you know, all these offers. It, you name it, it's like out of the blue. Uh, just, just flooded with credit card offers. People are being taken advantage of right now because they know people are losing their jobs and that the, the, the you know, you're having to rely on outside sources just to in, make ends meet. These are the things that we need to be focusing on and talking about and helping people with, okay? Um, I'm going to continue to, to talk about things that are happening. I'm going to continue to talk about how to prepare as best I can. Um, share with you things on the farm, reality on a farm, a small farm, because most people when they are venturing out to go buy land in Tennessee and they're gonna start a farm, well, I, I, I'm gonna sound like a smart aleck, but I hope you can afford it. Because my, um, I'm not gonna go into depth in this video because I'm gonna keep this one kind of short and sweet. Um, we have been over the last year, year and a half, keeping up with some of the market because of my oldest son and, you know, he's independent and, you know, he and his, uh, fiance, they're going to get married and, um, they've been kind of browsing around looking to buy a house and, um, both work full time, make, make a heck of a lot more money than James and I did when we were their age. Um, pretty much debt free folks, the young people of this country, the middle class of this country are being completely stomped to the ground. You know that. I don't have to tell you that. I don't have to tell you that. I don't tell you that. So we have to fight the good fights, okay? I'm not going to stand around and, and go back and forth with people that, um, you know, you, this sounds brass when I say this. And it, it, people, see, we're living in days where people are offended. People are probably offended because I've got this little wild gray hair right here. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name her Charlotte. I don't know why. She's short and she sticks out, drives me nuts. Charlotte probably offends somebody today. When you tell somebody the truth, even if, even if it's not um, political or being sassy, it's, you know, why they're whining about something. Somebody, I'm like, okay, I'll just say it. I put a post on social media much earlier today, basically saying, don't be afraid to, to, to speak the truth. And it's going to offend somebody. Some people are going to love it. Some people are going to hate it. Just know it. Just speak it. Okay. You don't have to be callous or difficult. My attitude is, is if I'm on my social media, my page here on my channel, on my Facebook, wherever, and I post something, all of my forums are free. So see, you you don't have to pay to be there. So I don't owe you and you don't owe me. You're here by choice. Um, and, you know, I get somebody kind of whining about how, you know, well, when they talk about being a vegan, they always get attacked. Well, first of all, who are you hanging out with? If you're getting attacked by people because you, because you choose to not eat whatever, well, first of all, who are you hanging out with? I'm going to talk to you like I do my kids. Why are you a glutton for punishment? I don't give two shakes of a lamb's tail if what you eat. Just don't tell me what I'm going to eat. Okay? Back it up. You back it up. I back it up. Go eat some broccoli and be happy. I, I like broccoli too. I love broccoli. Do you, you see what I'm saying? So when I basically said that, I was like, that's not true. People, I'm like, I don't care if you're vegan. Most people don't care if you're vegan. Most people don't care what your choice is. You go live your life, be an adult, be nice, pay your taxes like the rest of us have to, 
you know, don't hurt anybody, don't hurt animals and children, go be peaceful and productive. I may not like some of the things that you do or say, just like you may not like some of the things that I do or say, but if you're over there and I'm over here and we're peaceful, leave my kids alone, I'll leave your kids alone, um, you know, move on, kumbaya. Well, see, that's not a good enough answer for people. They want to fight. They want to take somebody like me and they want to twist it because I'm basically, I'm like, this is really stupid. Um, this is a waste of your time and mine. So because I say these things back to people and I don't say it to be ugly, I'm trying to shake you out of this la-la land where you feel like you have to stay. I mean, do we really have the time to be standing around fighting about whether or not you like to eat eggs versus steak versus broccoli versus tofu. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it on my social media forums. I'm not gonna stand around and, and, and fight with moms, uh, some of these people that wanna be relevant, um, you know, just show up out of nowhere and have nothing to do. I don't have time for that and neither do you. So I know you understand this, this crowd gets it because this is what is consuming everybody. This fighting, this petty, this ridiculousness, this, this division. But to be honest with you, we can talk about it being petty because it is, but, but really fundamentally, it's happening on purpose. It's a distraction. Focus on your health, focus on your family, focus on your pantry. I'd say pantry. I really mean for you, when I say your pantry, that really involves you being prepared in all ways as much as possible. Yes, food. Yes, water. Yes, medications. Yes to all of these things. So that's a broad brush. But see, a prepared people a peaceful people, a united people cannot be divided. And that's exactly what the push has to go up against. And unfortunately, most of society is not recognizing that. It's easier to fight, isn't it? Because fighting on social media with your thumb doesn't really require a whole lot of brain power and it doesn't require a lot of work. Sweat, sacrifice, it doesn't. It doesn't require anything. And the devil is using those people. You're being used. If you are walking around every day fighting on social media with people, I'm not saying to not, now, you know, understand what I'm saying here. I'm not saying to not speak the truth and to, and to be bold and righteous and stand up for what's right. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying the devil knows how to pull you down. The devil knows your weaknesses and he's going to try to pull you in. You ha we have to rebuke that. And I rebuke it. I rebuke you if you're doing that to me. And I, re I hope anybody that if you're doing it to someone else, they rebuke you back. This is not who we need to be. The road to the next two years, um, in my opinion, are going to be hellacious. Um, I'm not going to get into my opinions about um, what I think is coming because I think you should already know. And the thing is, is we can't exactly predict how is this and how is that. Somebody said to me today, and it was so heart-wrenching because she's this lady, she was very sweet. She said, I don't understand why the Lord hasn't come back yet. Well, maybe we're supposed to endure a lot more than you think we should. Maybe we're meant to endure a lot more than a lot of people understand. You take that how you wish. I'm going to continue to prepare to prepare. I'm going to continue to pray and I'm going to pray for you and I'm going to tell you about Jesus and I have so many imperfections and, and I, and I need, I need, I need a daily reminder all the constantly, but I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Don't give up and don't give in and recognize as my elder told me, I've got a video on it. Drink the water high in the mountain with the bear. Don't drink the water down in the low valley with the cows. Know the difference. Recognize once you have that awareness and you see all the things that are going on and you watch the pattern, you are absolute. I don't have to tell you you're in spiritual warfare. You're going to recognize it on your own. You just have to own that fact. And once you do, you're going to be able to control your emotions, your stability, and your path better. 
I love you guys. We have a lot of videos coming up. And um, I've seen too much on social media the last 24 hours. I saw enough on Twitter and things on Twitter that's gone on the past couple of days in this country that I honestly think made me physically ill. I do. I believe that 100%. And I'm not going to be distracted. We cannot be distracted. This is the path of the warrior. You have to choose which path you're going to be on. And the narrow one of the warrior is very painful. But keep praying and keep pressing. Like, subscribe, and share. Don't stop preparing. Keep going. Keep rotating what you've got. Keep assessing what you need. Keep talking. Keep stay peaceful. And recognize we're just in the beginning. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.